What's up, X and YouTube? Matt A here. Today, I want to talk about everything we know from the latest blog on Black Ops 6. Now, I am excited to play this, but I am not a Call of Duty, like, hardcore player. I play casually every now and then. Sometimes I skip a generation. My favorite was Modern Warfare, uh, the, the the newer, the, the, the first one, not number two. But uh, let's get into it, and I'll give my perspective from someone who doesn't play all the time. So it might be interesting to take a look at this global movement, at these things I have no idea about. So let's go get into it real quick. So we have the first blog, and this is August 28th. And we have it, you know, we know about some of this. It delivers the key changes, innovation across game modes. Here is the goal, global gameplay systems you'll be able to enjoy across multiplayer, zombies, and Call of Duty Warzone, of course, including the latest intel on Omni Movement, Gunsmith, global weapon builds, classic prestige, and mastery camos. Now, I did really like Black Ops 4. I like the camo system in Black Ops 4. I like the prestige system in Black Ops 4. I thought it was great. So Black Ops 4, to me, was the best Black Ops. I know that might be, uh, what, uh, what do you call it? That might be a sin for Call of Duty players, but I like Black Ops 4. I like the abilities and, and the maps. It, it was pretty good. Global gameplay systems of Black Ops 6. Now, if, if, you've been, if you've been doing Call of Duty for so long, you have a formula, right? It's very hard to innovate, but they finally did. Treyarch actually managed to innovate the FPS genre. And once you get so far, it gets harder and harder to innovate, harder and harder to impress, right? So we see impressive mo innovations to movement in your HUD. That's going to be interesting. Key evolutions in how you create and save your loadouts. That's going to be great. Utilize weapons, equip equipment, and perks. That's great. A streamlining of the gunsmith. Yes, an in-depth look at the exciting classic prestige progression system. Good. These are global gameplay systems underpinning Black Ops 6. So I will say that in Modern Warfare, I mean, hopefully the gun upgrades are crazy, right? I, I can't even uh, figure out what's going on in the gunsmith and, and the, the UI is terrible, right? So hopefully they improve that. We have the Omni Movement. This is what I was talking about. This is super innovative and this is great because you essentially you move in all four directions and you could have different different types of moves so we see you know a john genre defining game changer the omni movement immediately allows the player immediately to move like never before seamlessly chain combat maneuvers together perfectly like sliding diving and newly enhanced supine prone the supine prone is is the thing i'm most excited about because the other sliding and stuff yeah that's pretty cool this might be intimidating to try, but the Omni movement is designed for players of all skill levels. Okay, that's good. I like that. Multiplayer beta. And you know what else this does? This adds more of a skill element. So it's not only your reaction time might be slower, but you might be better at movement, right? So this is pretty good. It gives players another level of skills. So we see you can sprint forward sideways or back backwards shooting targets while sliding or diving forward sideways or backwards. That's pretty great. I love that. We have a 180 degree combat dive with the, yeah, we have a 180 degree combat dive like a true black ops action hero with the technique designed to show up on the movement act as a springboard for your own maneuvering combinations. You can sprint forward right towards the edge of a building, dive off from the edge. So we have more parkour elements. It looks like, as you're diving midair, you quickly rotate yourself to face the enemy situated behind you. That that's going to be fun, dude. That's going to be fun if they, you know, with the verticality of the maps and we have all this fun gameplay. As you finish your dive, you should be firing to eliminate the enemy. Of course, this all looks good. Combat supine or if I'm supine, supine, supine. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Su supine, supine, but master the supine position to effectively counter ambushes and enhance your skills. This one I'm most excited for. Essentially, it's, it's like you could go prone and turn around and you have, you know, full view of everything that's going around you. So you can see drop to a prone position, rotate your operator for a complete 360 degree view of your surroundings. Oh, there, there's going to be some campers with that, bro. They, they're going to have some camp bang, dude. Locate the positions of nearby enemies. Fire to eliminate the enemy as quickly as they appear. Bro, that's going to be, a, that is a camper's dream. I don't camp, by the way. It's a camper's dream. Combat's live and dive. We know about that. Quickly sprint towards a door. Close or open. 
or another threshold, evade enemy fire by diving or sliding through the opening. So basically they have the dolphin dive and all of those things. They just, they just embrace, just embrace it. We shouldn't need to hack a controller or keyboard to do it. Quickly aim fire, you know, intelligent movement. In addition to Omni Movement, Black Ops 6 features intelligent movement, which is a brand new way for players to customize three elements of how operators traverse the landscape available in keyboard and mouse or controller options under movement. You're able to address, this is kind of interesting, intelligent movement. Okay, sprint assist. Choose whether you want to manually or automatically sprint. Okay. Uh, how much delay you want before sprinting begins. All right, this is good. More customization and movement. This is innovative. All right, mantle assist, customize. Yes, this is good because we know the mantling system and, and Call of Duty, depending on how you play, and I'm not even a huge Call of Duty. Like I said, I'm not a hardcore player, but even I know it, it, it can mantle automatically or mantle in ways you don't want and get you killed because that's not part of your play style. So this is good. We have mantle assist. You know, you, you can design what objects you want mantled crouch says yes this enables crouching and sliding when your intent is to move through a valid opening okay that's good that speeds up the game flow corner slice allows you to simulate a corner slice active inclining your weapon camera when adjacent or two moving around the corner this doesn't affect your aim default is on that's pretty good i like that that's kind of like getting to those third person shooters like gears of war like mass effect i'm hoping that it gives us that that automatic gameplay where you can go around the corner, right? That's this sounds great. To someone who's not like a hardcore player, this is gonna make me jump in. I have a feeling this is probably gonna be one of the best selling Call of Duties ever. And I don't Game Pass is not even affecting it. People thought Game Pass was gonna ruin Call of Duty. It's not. People still want the actual copy, right? We have sprint assist, of course. You can you can set all of these. Tactical sprint assist, forward movement input will activate tactical sprint after the sprint assist delay time. Sideways and backwards, backward movement can also be separated. Sprint assist delay, this amount of time, milliseconds movement input before sprint assist activates. You could choose from zero to 1000. This is super customizable, dude. So many people like Z Laner and uh, and all of the FaZe Clan, all those people, right? They're gonna have so many different custom settings to play with. To me, this is just great as a casual player. To more advanced Call of Duty players, I would say just as a gamer, just as a casual gamer, this is great. This is like, this is like turning COD into like an action RPG almost, right? And you get all of these settings. Mantle assist, yep, you could choose. You could have off, low mantle assist when sprinting towards low obstacles. Mantle assist activates when sprinting towards all obstacles sideways backwards mantle assist can also be activated when sprinting sideways or backwards toward low obstacles default is off for both though they can be set to on for either both movement options wow and then you could set the tactical sprint only you could you can mantle assist you can set mantle assist to activate only while tactical sprinting default is off mantle mantle cancels reload Mantle assist activates while reloading, canceling the reload. Default is on. That's pretty good because if you're reloading and you want to get away, you want to get away from somebody, especially in Warzone. If you're reloading and you can't get cancel the animation, that sucks. Crouch assist, that's going to be good. Off default setting allows you to crouch or slide manually. On crouch assist activates when walking or sprinting forward towards a valid opening. Tactical sprint only crouch assist only activates when tactical sprinting toward a valid opening. Default is off. I'm guessing a valid opening means some kind of doorway, uh, some kind of crawl space, something like that. Um, it's hard to understand what they mean by, uh, you know, valid opening because we don't know exactly what all what all is going to be in the maps. More approachable gunsmith. Yes, 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 yes. I hope so. I hope so. We see here a more streamlined navigational experience choosing a loadout has never been quicker and easier. This includes a reworking of the weapon gunsmith to make it much more approachable, allowing you to choose from a vast array of unlockable weapon attachments with a renewed set of confidence and build you're making is suited to the exact style of play. Now, I hope, well, like in, like in Modern Warfare, I hope they don't put ridiculous requirements on the unlocks. Hopefully it just is mostly level unlocks and some of the basic ones that we had in like Black Ops 4 and, and the others. Hopefully it doesn't go into craziness with uh, 
uh, like modern warfare where you have to do all these crazy things to unlock the, the weapons. It's just kind of kind of silly, right? It's kind of dumb. Thanks to Black Ops 6 global weapon builds, your weapon creations can be shared across multiplayer zombies, Call of Duty Warzone. That's good. So you can have a, uh, it seems like you could have a weapon saved and just share it. It all starts with the weapons menu. Here you'll choose your loadouts. While Black Ops 6 is set to bring an exceptional arsenal of weaponry and equipment to the game, including 12 weapons, all new to the franchise. That's cool. The following information details, streaming, and innovations made to the gunsmith, beginning with attachment. The following information details the streaming and innovations have made to the gunsmith, beginning with attachments. Um... Okay, so it looks like they're bringing traditional weapons, but they're adding 12 new weapons that the game hasn't seen before. That's kind of odd. I wonder what kind of weapons they could possibly add. That's kind of wild. I'm trying to think. There, there's some, you know, there's a weapon system from Raytheon that was in the NGSW program. They used polymer ammo. There's a bunch of crazy, there's a rail gun that, that was made. So maybe they'll, they'll put that rail gun in there. I'm not sure, dude. I'm not sure what that could be. Maybe a laser? They can have lasers in this game? Maybe. It's possible. There are laser guns. They're just not that effective, right? Gaining the advantage. Attachments almost always come with a benefit, not a detriment. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Black Ops. That was the worst thing in Modern Warfare is when you're trying to balance all these attachments out and you want this cool weapon and then you get all of these cons. You get all of these what does Diablo 4 say? You get a blessing and a curse. Like, come on, man. That, that's just, no. Optics for all. Almost all optics. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what I liked about Black Ops 4. They had a lot of optic options, a lot of reticle options, and you could, like, most guns took most um, red dots, if I, if I remember correctly, right? Unlock the red dot sight with the SMG. You'll be able to quick all SMGs in that weapon class, Okay. In the, in the weapon class. Okay, that, that, that's good. That's still better. Everything else is unique. All other attachment types, muzzle, barrel, underbarrel, magazine, rear grip, stock, laser, fire mods are unique to the weapon in question. That's pretty cool because we want some customizability that isn't universal. But the biggest thing is optics for all. This is great. This is great to just have it all unlocked. <laughs> Thank you, Treyarch. Getting specific, instead of having... Instead of having a weapon function such as ADS speed being affected by multiple attachments that are difficult to keep track of, of course, you can't really, it's so stupid to quantitate that, right? For example, equipping a rear grip attachment will always improve your handling, and the grip you choose will boost a unique combination of handling stats. Okay. Do, 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 do. Sprint, fire, dive, fire, ADS, or a combination. All different grips are designed to improve the weapon's potency, not reduce it. So in other words, no matter what weapon grip you get, there won't be any penalties. Information is power. The net result of this new system, which we've just scratched the surface of, is that it allows players to make informed weapon building decisions easily, creative, create effective builds without constantly needing Looking up meta builds online. Yeah, that's perfect. You could just play around with this stuff. There's no negatives. You can attach things easier. That's perfect, especially for people like me who don't really, I don't play enough to unlock all the stuff to use meta stuff, right? I'm just a casual just gamer who likes shooting weapons, right? Information is power. The net result of this new system, which we've scratched the surface of. Yeah, make form one well, details matter. Don't mistake this streamlining as dumbing down. I don't. The gunsmith Azure firepower accuracy handling mobility stats can also be seen in an expanded view. All right. All right. With individual elements like reload quickness, that's good. Recoil gun, gun kick and bullet velocity. Yeah. Are all available compared to compare to compare in a granular granular detail. This is for all those meta players. All right. That is good. They still have that stuff in there for you. There are over 30 stats you can view. 30 you can view and improve and expand improve in the expanded view note this view will not be accessible during the beta that makes sense you know they they have to flush that out and it's a beta anyway it should be kind of casual weapon leveling right every black ops 6 weapon has its own weapon leveling journey to progress through and complete most primary weapons have between 40 and 50 weapon levels. I like that. I don't like when weapons 
I don't like when weapons don't have, you know, you don't have to level them that much. That's that's part of the fun of playing the game is when you have to level up your weapons, right? Each level providing access to a different attachment unique to the weapon or class optic that can be used with any weapon in the class. Perfect. While you, while we're talking optics, players will no longer need to unlock each weapon, weapon optic node as part of the weapon leveling journey. Instead, players will have access to the weapon optic attachment category from weapon level one and can immediately equip any of their fav favorite previously unlocked quest class optics. This is perfect, again, for someone like me, because that means if I play one one weapon, I unlock you know some of the attachments, I can go to the next weapon and use, the, use that universal optic. I don't have to just play with iron sights, right? I'm not good with iron sights, so that's good. Global weapon builds here. Perfecting your weapon loadout builds or blueprints doesn't need to be done more than once as Black Ops 6 brings the concept of global weapon builds into reality across all three modes. Okay, this loadout and gunsmith usability improvement is a huge time saver as it allows you to make and change any build or blueprint in any game and it permeates out everywhere the gun is equipped. Look for more information about this feature soon. Okay, so we don't have the, the in-depth details, but it sounds like you'll be able to change guns in game and share different guns with different party members. That's what it sounds like to me. And of course we have the camo, the epic grind to camo, the reticle, robust, yes. Cause Black Ops 4 had a lot of different reticle choices, weapon accessories. Yes, you have the, the charms, the decals, the stickers, Weapon camos, mastery camos, yes. Black Ops is known for their reactive camos, their active camos. These are nice, these look good. Weapon camos are cosmetic patterns. Of course, we know all of that. All three modes have a full set of camo challenges for each weapon in Black Ops 6. So yeah, so if you play multiplayer zombies in Warzone, you'll have uh, different camos, which is good because if you're in multiplayer and you get a really good camo, if you're in Warzone, people will know. If you're in zombies, people will know where you got that camo from. That's good. And it gives you more of a reason to play those modes and progression. This looks pretty good. We have dark matter. What's column two? Nebula. Ooh, I, I like Nebula is my favorite. I like Nebula. And then we have the mastery camos. I don't know, man. I, I like Nebula. I'll probably go for Nebula. We have military camos. We have unique camos, mastery camos, everything that you would expect. Uh, nine camos per weapon per game, 27 per weapon. Unique camos, two camos per weapon per game, six per weapon. Mastery camos, four camos per weapon per game, 12 per weapon, right? Multiplayer mastery camos. Of course, we have the gold, the diamond. You know all of this already. The dark matter, you, you've seen all this. We have the, the um, which one is that? I like uh, the topographic. Yeah, I like the topographic one right here. That's my favorite, probably the topographic. Ooh, that looks good, man. These are some good. Oh, and we can animate with the bullet. Just some good camos, man. These are some good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the red version of the nebula. That that looks good. That looks good. We have mystery gold camo, nebula, warzone mastery camos. We know about this. So this basically just goes in depth with the camos. Multiplayer zombies, Call of Duty Warzone all have the unique cam camos. We have calling cards and dark ops challenges. Okay, so we have, you know, the really good calling cards that Black Ops usually has. Global system. So there's going to be, it looks like calling cards and dark ops challenges. Global system. Okay, here we go. Calling card challenges. Black Ops way to unlock calling cards is black, back and bigger than ever. Starting at launch, track your progress from centralized calling cards menu where every type of calling card across campaign, multiplayer, and all that stuff can be viewed while also allowing you to see your calling cards that are closest to being earned. That is great. 100% calling cards, and we see we got some good calling cards here. Again, people will know if you got that progression if you hit that, right? As we usually see. There are sets of calling, calling cards per mode to unlock, and this menu system also has pages that summarize your progress throughout each set and percentage terms. So basically, there's just going to be a ton, tons of uh, calling cards and they're going to have uh, unique calling cards for all the different modes and tons of calling cards, basically. That's basically what this says. We have the emotes and sprays. We already know about that progression and prestige progression systems available, you know, for Black Ops 6 provide an impressive number of challenging 
challenges, leveling prestige, and unique rewards while well worth grinding for. Here's an overview. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, leveling is going to be 1 to 55 as it normally was, right? We're going to have the defaults loadout, right? We're going to have the custom loadouts, weapons, tacticals, lethals, field upgrades, of course. We're going to have, oh, zombies, ammo mods, and gobble guns, gums, gobble gums, huh? Okay. Yeah, and it seems like when you get up to 55, you get all of the unlocks just like you would in other Black Ops game, right? Leveling out over you in the beta, not, don't really care about that. Prestige one, yep, you get prestige one icon, prestige menus, access to prestige menu, prestige level climb. You're now able to climb through 10 levels of prestige, each inspired by a title called, a ti each inspired by a title in Black Ops history. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. All right, we got prestige, yep. The rewards, concern there may be a lack of rewards for prestiging. Fear not, Black Ops 6 has the most rewarding prestige system ever in Call of Duty Black Ops game. Prestige specific rewards. There's plenty to unlock and this, this includes rewards per prestige, including operator skins, blueprints, and more. That's good because you want to have that progression. You want you want to see results. You want to have dopamine. That's great. So we get prestige specific rewards, actual rewards for prestige. Prestige mastery. Complete all 10, 10 prestige levels to graduate to, you know, the master. And then you have 1000 levels to climb through through with additional rewards. That's good. So you have almost endless progression. And somebody like me, I'm pro I'm never gonna hit a thousand, but I might. Usually, I get to like 200 or something, and and like Black Ops 4, level reset. You could level reset to Prestige One. All content level up of unlocks from one to 55 are relocked and must be unlocked again. This includes all the loadout content. Keep your progress, however, all your weapon levels, operators, challenge, progress, weapon builds. For example, the AK-74 is unlocked at level seven. It becomes locked until you level back up past level seven. But once you do, any prior progress you made, okay. So you unlock the weapon, but you get all of your previous progress, okay. Permanent unlocks. Each time you prestige, you require a, require a permanent, permanent unlock. You can keep this indefinitely or better yet, use it to unlock single item of your choice within the levels. For example, if you don't wish to wait until you've leveled back up to level seven to unlock the AK-74, you can use a permanent unlock. Okay. Okay, so ba basically you get to have a uh, system where you could pick a permanent unlock. That's pretty good. Permanent unlocks, note that blueprints and equipment skins that you may own also permanently unlock items, including the base version of the item. Okay. Prestige rewards, as previously noted, once you've prestige, you gain access to earn other unobtainable prestige, prestige, prestige rewards, prestige challenges, and increased XP reward for completing daily challenges. That's good because it's giving you a reason to reset your prestige, right? Stats reset, your combat stats, current elimination death record start fresh every time you prestige. However, you can always review your career stats across all levels in combat record menu. That's good because you can track your progress from the beginning of the game until later in the game. And then people can recognize the, the, how you've improved, right? So when you first start the game and you might not be doing well, or you might not be a good player, it's not going to hurt you or hurt your statistics later. You can reset that and then have a good foot forward, you know, put your best foot forward going forward. That's pretty cool. I like that. Seasonal content, of course, we're gonna have the Battle Pass Prestige Hub. A prestige menu with reward showcase is now accessible. Highlights include visuals showing how far you've progressed through the prestige system and the rewards across future prestiges. Even those you haven't unlocked yet. That is great. This looks good. I am impressed. I like the fact that you can reset your stats. I like the fact that we have 1000 levels again and we have unique unlocks and I like the permanent token. That's like permanently unlocking something that is a must, right? Each prestige has a theme across multiplayer. Premium rewards do Black Ops, Black Ops 6 progression system global across blah, 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 blah. Free to play players will receive fewer prestige rewards compared to those, of course we are. Yeah. Ricochet anti-cheat on day one. Uh, how good that's gonna work? I don't know, people are still going to cheat. We know it, but might help a little bit. 
There are beta rewards, of course. So we have a beta tag, no bugs, quick draw, squish, squash, <laughs> the, the truth lies. Beta uh, expert bug, bug smasher. Okay, so some kind of uh, smashing bugs theme. Oh, I get it because it's beta. <laughs> You're getting rid of the bugs. That's pretty cool. So, of course, you know, every Call of Duty, they always have these beta rewards. There's cos cosmetic rewards, level two beta tester, animated emblem, level six beta tag spray, no bugs, weapon charm, quick draw, squish, right? During weekend one, squash during either weekend. The truth lies, loading screen. Oh, that's cool. You get a uh, customized loading screen. Beta expert animated calling card. That's pretty cool. Bug smasher weapon blueprint. That's going to be good when you first start the game. You'll have the bug smasher. Yep. And of course, how games are going now. We have Black Cell. It unlocks 20, 20 levels of the battle pass. This is how all games are pretty much launching now, especially if they're free to play type things, right? We have here, we have Mastercraft Collection. We have the, you know, Ames 85, the Combat Knife. So th they're actually giving you stuff for the Vault Edition. Okay. And you get the early access. So um, what do I think about the vault edition as a casual player? I think it's worth it. And I'm not, I don't think you can get this with game pass. So you see, it still, still gives you that incentive. So it's still going to sell very well. Black ops today, right? You pre-order, right? Blah, 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 blah. Pre-order the digital edition on console. This is just basic pre-orders. You get the camo pack. Would operate a pack early access to open beta, of course, and pre order on console. Okay, so even if you pre order the, the digital edition, you get, you know, the Re Reflect 115 Camel pack, Woods operated pack early access to the open beta. And then pre ordering the Vault edition, you get Hunter versus Hunter operated pack, which we just saw the Black Cell, the season one. That's the battle pass where you get 20 tier skips. Mastercraft Weapon Collection and Gobble Gum Pack. Those players who pre-ordered the Vault Edition will be able to gain access to the Hunters and Hunter Operated Pack, as well as the Mastercraft Mastercraft Weapon Collection during the Black Ops Beta. That's pretty cool to give you that 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 during the beta. So you get to see your uh, your money's worth, right? You get your money's worth instantly. That's pretty cool. I like that. Game Pass subscribers. Oh, okay. So let's see what we got. Okay, so for Game Pass subscribers will receive all the digital edition benefits and those who upgrade for $30 will get the vault edition. Okay, okay. So they are doing that thing where if you do get the Game Pass, you still, you pay the extra $30 and then you get the vault upgrade. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. So if you already have Game Pass like me, you might be more inclined to just get the, uh, you know, the $30 upgrade yeah, I like that. And that way they still get their, their initial sales. Yeah. The re yeah, let's see. The Reflect 115 Camo Pack consists of 115 Mastery Camo for use in Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Warzone, and Call of Duty Warzone Mobile. Okay, so it's a cross-platform uh, camo. In addition, you receive three flawless eth Ethereum crystals, three legendary Ether tools, and three ray gun weapon cases for immediate use in modern warfare zombies. All right, that's good. All content does not carry forward to Black Ops 6. So this is kind of like what Blizzard does with Diablo. And now that they're all under one, one roof, it makes sense. So Activision does, um, Diablo does things where if you pre-order something, you get something in WoW, or you get something in an older Diablo game or StarCraft, but it doesn't actually give you the cosmetic in a new game. So this is something that we've seen before from Activision. And of course, you know, everywhere in Sure You Stay One Step Ahead, the latest official. So that was a lot to talk about, but that's everything we know from the latest blog post from Black Ops from Treyarch that goes through all of the list of new things, everything that they dropped in that blog post. Hopefully you found this informative. I've never done a video like this before. And like I said, from a casual player perspective, that's why I wanted to do this because I wanted to look at everything from a casual perspective. And so far, I'm liking everything I see. I haven't been this excited about Call of Duty since they did the new Modern Warfare, the, you know, the original. And I haven't wanted to play, uh, you know, a Call of Duty this much since probably Black Ops 4. 
I think that I'm going to have more fun in this than Modern Warfare. I think I'm going to have more fun in this than maybe even Black Ops 4 because I like all the new movement. I like all the customizations. I like that it, it's actually getting more RPG elements, and that seems to be the trend, trend in gaming, right? Everything seems to be adding RPG elements, and I love it. That's the video. I've been talking a lot. Let me hear from you in the comments. Like and subscribe, of course. I'll see you next time.